Greetings, you two. Today I'm going to be talking about atlatls. Um, in particular, atlatls that are made with the most primitive tools known to man. Now, this was a video I saw by Nick over on Backyard Boyer. Um, and he's a fascinating gentleman, he really is. And he does some incredibly interesting things with PVC. He's really taken PVC into directions I did not think it was possible. Thanks to him, I think I may actually use some PVC in an upcoming um, weapons build myself because he does, he's done some awesome stuff. He, he makes it very approachable and I appreciate that. He has a wonderful speaking voice, great at explaining things, and he has this wonderfully expressive and delicate hands. They're, they're large, but they're, they're really delicate and precise. He would have been a great surgeon. Um, and he did a video recently about walking into a field with no tools, none, and making a functioning atlatl and darts. It's not a very long video, I suggest you go watch it, but it is just awesome to see a skilled person flint nap his own blades, his own points, scavenge materials from the environment, make his own cordage. Uh, fine feathers for fletchings, just incredible stuff. And then you, he ends up with a functioning atlatl, which is a dart thrower. And the, the beautiful, beautiful thing about the atlatl is that it extends the reach of your arm. You can get like 200% more power out of a thrown dart with an atlatl than you can with, can with your hand. Um, just absolutely cool things. And I, I'm contemplating making my own someday. I was a, actually at one time a member of the World Atlatl Association, which is a real organization. I have one of their patches somewhere, though I never got in, never actually bought or made my own atlatl. Just the absurdity of it just made me smile, so I became a member. I actually bought a membership for a, for a friend of mine as a person. Um, so go watch the video. It's worth your time. It's fascinating to see. It really is. Um, and hopefully in the near future, I might actually step into that particular field myself, though I'm probably not going to do it from scratch like Nick does because I have no idea where to go to find the resources he has, um, nor do the things he did, though flint napping is also darn fascinating. 